Here we have Chapter 2, Problem 52, Cut Down Johnson, 9th edition. A ball is thrown straight upward. At 4 meters above the ground, the ball's speed is one half its launch speed. What maximum height above its launch point does the ball attain? Let's first list our knowns and unknowns. Since this is a free fall problem, we're going to assume that g is negative 9.8 meters per second squared in the absence of air. Our final height in this problem, or at least this part of the problem, is 4 meters. Final velocity at a height of 4 meters is v-naught over 2. And I don't know what v-naught is, but that's gonna, that, that will be an unknown. But I do know that vf is half of v-naught. It's, kind of, it's kind of silly to think, but uh, you'll see where I'm going. Uh, let's assume that our initial height is zero meters. Now, under the unknown column, what is the maximum height? Which we don't know. And I'm going to place under my unknown column V0. And this is where I'm going to begin the problem solving. Now, take a look at the knowns and unknowns. Which of the basic kinematic equations do you think to use? Well. I didn't discuss time, nor is time required in this problem. So by default, we're going to take our first step in solving for the initial speed using the second basic kinematic equation. So we have Vf squared is equal to V-naught squared plus 2G delta Y, which is Yf minus Y-naught. Now let's make some substitutions. Uh, Vf is a known quantity, V0 over 2. Oh, look at this. We've got one equation and one unknown. And you'll see why in a little bit. I'm going to insert some numbers here, but I just wanted to show you, having substitute V0 over 2, that you do get one equation and one unknown. So V0 over 2 quantity squared is V0 squared over 4. And that's equal to V0 squared plus twice negative 9.8 times 4 minus 0. Okay, doing some nifty algebra here, subtracting V0 squared from both sides, we get minus 3 fourths v naught squared is equal to twice negative 9.8 times 4 for a total of minus 78.4. Now, dividing both sides by minus 3 fourths and taking the square root of both sides, we end up with an initial speed at the launch point of 10.22 meters per second. Now, second part of the problem. Let's use this initial speed at the launch point and calculate how high the ball would go and assume that at the maximum height, Vf is zero in this case. So again, time was not discussed uh, nor required. By default, we're going to use the second basic kinematic equation again. So we have Vf squared is equal to V0 squared plus 2G, and in this case, y max. Because our delta y, we're going to take y naught to be 0. Vf at the maximum height is 0. So solving for y max, get y max is equal to minus v naught squared over 2g. This is the typical algebra, the symbolic, symbolic algebra in terms of y max. So substituting our value of 10.22 and for v naught, divide that by twice negative 9.8, we get a y max of 5.33 meters. And there you have it. Problem 52, Chapter 2, Cutnell and Johnson, 9th edition.